Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hi guys, today we are going to learn about acids and bases. This chapter we will complete in three parts. So stay tuned with us. Just have a look on this chapter. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today we are going to learn something about acids. The learning objective of today's lesson is in this topic you should be able to define acid in terms of the ions they contain or produce in aqueous solution define the basicity of acid and the third and last objective of this lesson is describe qualitatively the difference between strong and weak acid in terms of extent of ionization so these are the objectives we are going to consider in this lesson so how can we define what acid is first definition is acid is a compound in which one or more hydrogen ions are bonded to a negative ion if we have this acid hydrochloric acid then we can say how this definition can be justified look at here now a compound in which one or more hydrogen ions are bonded to the negative ion in hcl this is the hydrochloric acid in hcl one hydrogen ion and one cl ion is present so if we are going to have a look on this definition you can see a compound in which one or more hydrogen ions hydrogen ions are bonded to the negative ion so cl minus 1 is the negative ion h positive is the positive ion so positive ion is going to be hydrogen positive ion is going to be bonded with the chloride ion next example is of sulfuric acid in sulfuric acid we can have two hydrogen ions and one sulfate ion so we can say more hydrogen ions are bonded one or more hydrogen ions are bonded to a negative ion so sulfate is a negative ion so this hydrogen ion is bonded to bonded with the negative sulfate ion another example nitric acid okay can you guess which negative ion is present yes nitrate ion so hydrogen ion is going to be bonded with the negative ion that is of nitrate ions now just have a look again on this definition a compound in which one or more hydrogen ions are bonded to the negative ions so this is the one definition of acid if we are going to have a look on the other definition yes an acid is a substance that produces hydrogen ions in water if we are going to look at this chart we can see an acid when we dissolve it in water it produces hydrogen ions remember acids always need water for their acidic character and for their hydrogen ions because an acid hcl is a covalent molecule so it it is not going to give us as not going to give us ions in this condition when we will dissolve it in water it will produce hydrogen ions and the one negative ion which is chloride ion sulfuric acid H2SO4 it is going to have two hydrogen ions in its formula and produce two hydrogen ions in the solution and dissociate or ionize in sulfate ions nitric acid when we will dissolve it in water it will produce hydrogen ions again all acids have one common character in it that is the production of hydrogen ions or ionization of the acid in hydrogen ions in other one in other words we can say they can produce or dissociate into hydrogen ions they split into their hydrogen ions so all hydrogen ions in present phosphoric acid produce three hydrogen ions in water and phosphate ions will be separated so an acid is a substance that produces hydrogen ions in water so this is the second definition of acid we can define it like this one other characteristic 
if we are going to say and if we want to know about the acidic character of acids is just because of the water we call hydrogen ion the hydrogen cation or positive ion it is sometimes called as proton now this hydrogen ion when we will dissolve it what in it in water it will form hydronium ion in some of the books it is written as hydroxonium ion it as hydroxonium ion or hydronium ion hydrogen ion actually attached with the water molecule to form the hydronium ion so this is basically almost all of the time we will be looking with the hydrogen ions but in other case we can say yes that it really with h3o positive actually because of this they are used and they are interchangeable hydrogen hydrogen atom loses its one electron and to become hydrogen ion and we can say it proton why because one hydrogen atom contains one electron and one proton and one electron is going to be removed then it will be converted in proton and this the nucleus which is present um, in the center of the atom contains only one proton so we can sometimes call it as proton but most commonly we call it as hydrogen ion but there is a most exception is there hydronium ion is equal to hydrogen ions almost all of the time we will working with hydrogen ions in water so they are interchangeable exception is that you can have hydrogen ions by itself in a high energy gaseous state so we can have this in high energy gaseous state now if we are going to see some of the common acids here are first the mineral acids mineral acids are those acids which are which we can prepare in laboratory and use in different factories man made acids are called as mineral acids and whereas the organic acids are the naturally occurring acids and if we can have a look on the organic acids where actually they found lactic acid present in sour milk oxalic acid present in rhubarb plant citric acid present in limes lemons citrus fruit formic acid is present in insects bite tartaric acid is present in grape juice acetic acid very commonly used in our daily life in vinegar and malic acid is present in apples and pears these are actually the acids which are we commonly known it but to somehow mineral acids or man made acids are the strongest acids we call it the strong acids and organic acids or naturally occurring acids we call it as a weak acid okay carbonic acid is one of the exception in mineral acid which is a not a strong acid now we are going to have a look what is basically the definition of strong acid and weak acid strong acid are those acids which fully ionize in aqueous solution or which completely ionize in aqueous solution so if we can see what does it mean the completely ionization of strong acids we can see in hcl one hydrogen atom is present and it is going to produce one hydrogen ion so how many atoms are there one hydrogen atom is going to be ionized to produce one hydrogen ion similarly in sulfuric acid one sulfuric acid molecule is going to produce two hydrogen ions all the hydrogen atoms is going to be dissociated into hydrogen ions nitric acid is completely dissociated into its hydrogen ions phosphoric acid is completely dissociated into its three hydrogen ions 
any acid which completely ionize in water or fully ionized in water in aqueous solution are called as a strong acid but now if we are going to have a look on the definition of weak acid the acid which partially ionize in solution Partially means not completely. The acids which partially ionize in aqueous ionizes in aqueous solution, like acetic acid. Acetic acid partially ionizes in aqueous solution. Acetic acid is the vinegar acid as well. Is going to have three and one four hydrogen atoms, but it can only dissociate and produce one hydrogen ion out of four so if a molecule having four hydrogen atoms but going to give only one hydrogen ion it means it's going to be partially dissociate or partially ionized so acetic acid is partially ionized into hydrogen ions another thing what is the difference we can have a look on this reversible reaction Weak acids always show this sign of reversible reaction. They produce acetate ions, hydrogen ions in water. But here we can say, here we can have both molecules and ions in the solution. But in the strong acid, all the ions will be present. Not even a single molecule is present over there. So acetic acid contains molecules plus ions both in the mixture. Another important definition we are going to learn about the basicity, basicity of acids. So there are some acids which are monobasics, there are some acids which are dibasics and there are some acids which are tribasic. How can we have a look on this? Basicity of acid, the number of ionizable hydrogen ions by one mole of any acid is called as basicity of acid. The number of ionizable hydrogen ions by one mole of acid. The number of ionizable hydrogen ion in one mole of acid. One mole of HCl contains one ionizable hydrogen. And so we will say it, this acid is monobasic. If, how many, if we are going to have a look on the sulfuric acid, you can see how many number of ionizable hydrogens are there? Two. So we will call it, this is the dibasic. And if there are, again, nitric acid is going to produce one hydrogen ion in the solution so we will say this is monobasic and sulfuric acid is producing three hydrogen ions we will say it's tribasic now come towards the acetic acid it is going to produce one hydrogen ion so we will say it is monobasic again if we are going to have a look on the basicity the number of ionizable hydrogen ions by one mole of any acid so the number of ionizable hydrogen ions will tell us its basicity. So they can monobasic, dibasic, tribasic. It depends upon the number of ionizable hydrogen. So this is the end of the lesson. And before we are going to end it up, we are going to have a look on our objectives. Either we have met this or not. In this lesson, all of you are able to define acid in terms of the ions and cont or they contain or produce an aqueous solution. You will be able to define basicity of acid and now you can differentiate between strong and weak acids. So this is the end of our lesson. Have a nice day. Stay blessed. Allah Hafiz. Signing off. Miss Aisha Manzoor.